Greetings, St. Joseph Parish family. As many of you know, the Catholic Church in the United States is currently in a period of Eucharistic revival. It is time to grow in our knowledge and appreciation of Jesus' real presence in Holy Communion. This revival presents us with an opportune time to re-examine the practices of receiving the Eucharist in the most reverent way possible. Since we believe that Jesus is wholly present under the appearance of bread and wine. In this video, we will briefly discuss the ways of receiving communion along with common mistakes to avoid. There are two ways permitted to receive the communion host, either in the tongue or in the hand. Each way can and should be done reverently. Regardless of how you receive, first bow as you approach the minister in an act of reverence to our Lord's presence in the Eucharist. This should also be done before receiving the precious blood from the chalice. Be sure to say, Amen, when receiving. The Amen said by the faithful when receiving communion is an act of personal faith in the presence of Christ. Please maintain respectful silence as you come up for communion. Do not engage the minister or the people around you in casual conversation. If you receive on the hand, please stack your hands one on top of the other with your dominant hand on the bottom so that you can easily access the host and put it in your mouth once you've received it. Again, please make sure that you hold your hands in a flat plane. If your hands are at an angle, you will run the risk of the host slipping and falling to the ground. Be sure not to grab the host out of the minister's hand. Wait for him or her to place him in your hand. Consume the host immediately before beginning to walk back to your pew. If you start to walk away, you will find a priest or other minister running after you and asking you to consume him. Please make sure to have clean hands since our hands become a throne for the Lord in receiving communion. Receiving on the tongue, make sure that you stick out your tongue and open your mouth enough so the minister can easily place it there. Please avoid sticking out the ton at an angle. Make sure that your ton is extended in a flat plane. The host will usually stick to your ton, but this eliminates the possibility of the host falling on contact. And please, do a dragon breath check beforehand and brush your teeth if necessary. In the coming weeks, we plan on reintroducing the precious blood during Sunday Masses in the main church. Like anything, after a long time away from receiving the chalice at Mass, we're probably a little rusty about how it works. Receiving communion under both kinds is a wonderful opportunity. The general instruction of the Roman Missal states, Holy Communion has a fuller form as a sign when it is distributed under both kinds. For in this form, the sign of the Eucharistic banquet is more clearly evident. We also need to be cautious when receiving the precious blood, taking care to ensure that it is done reverently and reducing the risk of spills. Be careful and gentle when taking the cup out of the minister's hands. Avoid jerking the cup because sudden movements could cause our Lord's blood to be spilled on the floor. Parents of young children and adults with shaky hands, please consider carefully whether you or your child should receive from the chalice. You will not be missing out if you don't receive under both kinds. It is the same Jesus, present whole and entire, whether in the species of bread, wine, or both. Please do not wear excessive amounts of lipstick if you plan to drink from the chalice. This creates a residue that is difficult for our sacristans to clean off. 
of the purificators that the ministry uses to wipe the chalice. Thank you for watching this video. We are so blessed to have you as part of our community. Receiving the Lord with reverence, each of us can do our part in building up the body of Christ and becoming the light of Christ in our local community. In the words of St. Augustine, we become what we receive.